All right, first of all, I'd like to thank Roe for coming. It's 7.42, you're 42 minutes late. Recently, we've had a few people threatening to quit. We'd hate to lose you guys, especially since we just hired you last Wednesday. Some of you have said that carrying drywall is not your calling, that it doesn't fulfill some of your more work-related passions. See, you need to bring your passions to the work. Take a look at Colin, one of our more senior employees. Colin's been with us for six months. He maintains a small crop of marijuana plants in the construction yard. His passion was always to be a cannabis cultivator, a master grower. But Colin doesn't have a degree in horticulture. He can't pass a criminal background check. So he became a carpenter with a hobby. Through Colin's passion, he has helped guys like Michael. Michael's always wanted to be a pilot. He wanted to soar above the clouds, but today he mostly works below ground in trenches. But because of Colin's passion, Michael has found other ways to get high. Big Paul had a vision of becoming a lawyer. His passion was to help drunk people beat DUI charges. But because Big Paul couldn't pass the bar, or any bar for that matter. Big Paul now works for us, using his skills as a liar to deal with the building inspector. Caleb has always wanted to be an Instagram hand model. His passion was to have his hands photographed while holding bath bombs and cupcakes and spring rolls filled with bok choy and bean sprouts. But years of excessive gaming and texting has led to severe thumb tendonitis. Caleb's beautiful hands are now covered in therapeutic compression gloves. The only thing Rocco ever wanted to build was a website for barely legal amateurs. His passions got quashed after a sting operation. Now his work release officer got him a job here, chained to a jackhammer. Trevor wanted to make $100,000 a year as a social worker. Is that right? His passion was to cure all of society's ills while being handsomely paid. Unfortunately for Trevor, his worthless four-year degree in sociology only got him interviews as a probation officer. So Trevor became a plumber who now lives in a mansion and drives a Porsche. On occasion, he will take a phone call from one of society's sickos like Rocco just to feel like he's doing something. So don't quit your job, bring your passion to work. And remember, you're not alone. I feel like quitting this every day.